All right, back on the Vampire Survivors Bezwick. This time, the Mario is going to be going over to not Dairy Plant because that is ripe for failure. Have some Gallo Tower, old man. Actually, I don't know if you're old or not. Uh, let's see. I think Lost and Found Peyton is what I need. Wait, I don't have Empty Tome, do I? Oh, this is going to end poorly. Strangely enough, both the passes are on the map here. More Bible more. Okay. Oh, I did get Empty Tome. Good. Now, as for what else I'm getting, that's a mystery for all. Boy, this is off to a bad start. Oh, that movement speed is really crippling. Mirage Robe. That'll get me some safety next to me, right? Right? Yes, actually, it gets me a ton of safety next to me. And it'll lure things off, take them outside the range during the gap phases. So yeah, that's a pretty good pickup idea. Definitely going to be going this one slowing. Mostly because I don't have a choice. No speed for Demario. Oh boy, should have grabbed. Everyone's favorite. It's not an old sanctuary. This has a higher ultimate cap for power though. Man, where's that bracer at? Jeez. It's not still banned. Okay. Uh, doing a bit better now. Duration affects amount. I'm getting duration. Can deal critical damage. Actually wouldn't be too bad, wouldn't it? So I'm going to get a ton of duration on account of the whole, you know, lost and found painting. And I got Spellbinder maxed out. It'll be a really short circle on account of the fact that I'm not getting area. Hey, there's Bracer. Now it'll only be things I can actually grab. Well, there's already things that only I could grab. Alright, the Mirage Robe will keep me safe up close. Bible keeps me mostly safe. Well, once I have more speed, it'll be better. And more amount, and more everything. Oh god. Well, the duration gets changed by the painting, so that doesn't help. Except when it does. I think by default it evens out. Oh, double chicken, nice. Okay, all my recording stuff is good for once. Why did I select that? I knew it was going to cause this. Bible Plus Saw does do its damage. Uh-oh, I'm forced in a corner. Exactly as planned. Alright, what do I want here? Bracer, probably. Hmm, we'll make the speed at which the Santa Javelins come down faster, too. Hmm, hard to tell. Decently fast as it is. Oh, I double spawned them. Ha! Huh, that's something you see all that often. Ah, the boss sneaks in. Chaos in the Dark Knight would have buzzsawed this even further. Ah, the blood skeletons. They just sneak in. And I have to get awake, don't I? Too risky otherwise. The Mario's pretty weak overall. In the end, Santa Javelin should be a good weapon on account of that whole amount with duration. And there's one thing that he has it's duration. Gotta show off that one weapon. Now, granted, 40 base 
might be a lot better than both, but hey. Well, duration will work out here. Why did I go for this? I didn't need it. I think that's the last of the blood skeletons till like super late. I'm pretty safe for now. Yep, especially when it's stacking up like this. Alrighty now. Oh, all Mirage Robe. And Santa Javelin is Clover, so that as well. My other ones are gonna be lost in found painting by default. Area. Yeah, I think area. Uh, that is a choice. Not lost and found painting. Then it will be Silent Old Sanctuary, then Awake. Because I don't trust Omario whatsoever to get to the end. And I've lost too many runs with better setups than this. Oh, well, duration isn't too high. Too useful. But I'll get it anyway. Because it's like one more second on the field, and a second in Vampire Survivors is an eternity. Also, it's like half a second. Like, funky Blizzard Time, except Blizzard Time makes sense with how they set it up. You know, the, the bl Blizzard Time. It's because everyone plays the games on the fastest settings, but the base time is... Why is that frozen? Played against the, you know, normal game speed. And the animations are locked for the normal game speed. Boy, the first time I set it from normal to very fast in a Blizzard RTS. Just wild, the difference. Area. Area 2. Yeah, I mean, 1% more crit chance is the most effective, I think. Eventually, that'll cap out. Man, it's really hard to tell if there was an actual effect. I yeah, know 2% isn't that visible to the naked eye, but still, it doesn't feel all that different. Maybe the actual icicles don't change, but that ice, the little platter on the bottom does. I'd rather get the icicles up than the mirage robe. The mirage robe is weird. It's mostly just for inner safety, not actual damage. Bible still does good damage, and it does it very fast. And as my stats go up and up because of lost and found painting, which I should really just go check how the delta on that works. It'll only get better. Uh oh. No good if this wave gets pushed back pretty cleanly. Ah, uh, oh, our combat, yay. Give me my... Oh, I have no rerolls. No. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. This has gone really bad. Wait, that'll give me three more. Good. Alright. And I am a lot stronger. Both literally and figuratively. And literally. Increased my might, and decreased that cooldown even further. Yeah, the Santa J one's basically firing off back-to-back -back now. It's not overlapping, but significantly improved. Yeah, it is overlapping in certain circumstances. Well, those circumstances being when I level up and it fires off again. Hey, NFT. And a chest that I could get super... So that I could get candy boxes out of, which I will get a uh, Holy Vespers out of, you know. I am Lucian. And I could just random always this. I might get a uh, Super Candy Box 2 Turbo and evolve one of them. Don't know which one I would. Probably the Santa Javelin. I think I'd prefer to just stack up the Tractorb instead of getting the Jadonas. Huh. Jadonna. I mean, it's not Jadon my soul, but that'd be really weird if it was. Prescient. 
Like people on GameFAQs who changed their screen name to characters that came out after their registration date. That's funny to read. <laughs> I have no idea how they did that. Begging the mods? Whatever. Alright. Mario had a really rough start, but on Holy Vespers it is still one of the most powerful evolutions. Nothing's getting through the buzzsaw of red. And Santa could totally do this, too. No, oh, I went... Well, I, there was no bracer. I already have bracer. Oh no, Gallo. And the Atlantean. That's a bad combination. Oh, well, on the flip side, unholy Vesper damage. Now, Starburst 2, though. Does Gallo actually show up here if you are playing as him? Oh, there's an egg. There's one Atlantean down. Yeah, it's that start in the movement speed. It's so bad. But once you get going, Demario is crazy good. Well, on Holy Bible is crazy good, and Demario enhances it pretty well. That's why he starts with it or something. Well, I can get those when I go down. Granted, I'm definitely not reaching late on it. Probably won't reach the other Atlanteans. At the very least, that means I'll have actually things that aren't other things to talk about. I can speak about the game. Oh boy. Wait, was it always on the left? The game always looked like this? Oh hey, it's the magic mirror to Conchetta's coffin. Yeah, so a slightly beefier wave, and even it's having trouble doing anything. Lost and found painting is not an arcana you use it all that often, but when it goes up like this, things go crazy fun. Let's see, what should I name this? Oh. Uh-oh. Ah, that's why they got pushed in through because of the boss or something. Oh, I still have to be careful, too. I need to go find some chickens. Yeah, if they can get pushed in, huh, it's not good for the final waves. Yeah, they're still getting in a bit. I mean, enough levels will compensate, but still. Oh, Blood Skeletons, no. I can't move. Can't move till they're all gone. this wave is gone. Well, I can't move out till the wave is gone. I can still move. Eee. Ah, they're getting pushed in when they're faded out. Incidentally, this makes it like one of the most unique enemies in Vampire Survivors. It actually it does something other than just move towards you. Yeah, boss one. That's not a good indicator. Knew the, you know, all the candy boxes I was getting on solo weapon and nothing are showing up here. Hmm, I should probably tag what the third wave challenge is in every video. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Maybe I should have saved that for more dire portent. Uh, I kind of bet. Awake, 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 awake. Oh, I have more rerolls, so that's nice. None of those are awake. There you are, awake. Phew. Okay, this so might still get dicey in the end because that final wave is so overpowered. But I should be able to get through. I mean, if Clarice had awake, she could have gone through Dairy Plant. But I got arrogant. And as we all know, hubris destroys us all. Unless you've never been hubristic. Which would I see mod. But it is what it is. And what it isn't, in this case. I don't know whether a mob hit me or the starburst. Huh, do they leave damage circles on the ground? Or is something else causing that? What is with these sparklies? 
Chicken. Yay. Man, that's a lot of chests not to get even a basic candy box. I hope one of them hit me. Another one hit me. Okay, I think they're done till later. That's good. Didn't use up any of my revives from Awake. Regular revive, yes. Awake revive, no. Ah, manticores are getting in. Occasionally. When I'm in a bad spot with the uh, unholy vesper. So, a small clover. How timely. Ooh, triple light source. One of those has to be a chicken. Yeah, and another small clover, huh? Uh-oh, crab battle. You want to win a run? Just get the unholy vespers. Also, you know, Laurel. If you want to be just invincible, that helps. Oh man, I'm not going to get anywhere close to the other Atlanteans. Anyway, this is the one of the easiest waves there could be. Just your basic skull enemy with no health coming in at the end. And then blood golems. They get their revenge. I mean, I want to stick close to Sorologian in case things get dicey. And the uh, best otherwise I could do is these weirdly fading in chickens. What? I've never seen that before. Is it new? Well, it must be new if I haven't seen it before. Hey, levels up. This red gem anything? Nope. Well, it might be if I could get to it. 244 duration. Pretty okay, considering. Heck, if anything gets past the Unholy Vespers, they'll just run into the giant storm of uh, Mirage Robe Freezing. Then they'll be stuck inside on Holy Vespers. Buzz song. Hmm. Wandering into a pretty nice little combo. Could be better, could be worse. But if it victor if it gets the victory, it gets the victory. And if you do survive all of that, you'll just get chain frozen, in fact, too. Nice. Uh, are these called they're blood golems, right? Oh, why am I asking you, viewer? I can just look it up on Mars Gouda. Please be recording. Good. Uh, uh, who knows, maybe OBS just randomly decides to crash. But it keeps doing for some reason. Alright, will the final wave show off its stuff? Nope, Demario does look like it's a winning strategy. And the fact that I switch between characters means that it's going to be really annoying to make titles for videos. Uh, like, what does third wave strikes do? No, wait, Drowner. You show up? Well, I'll just fall to Starburst. That's funnier than letting death win. Wow, oh, Santa Javelin outdid on Holy Vespers. That's some pretty impressive. Well, that's Vespers outdid it on DPS, so it's really just a matter of timing till it would have changed. And with the King Bible damage, it still didn't beat it, huh? Well, there's Demario down. Who else to go? Well, Crotchy has failed to conquer Capella Magna, so he gets to take it easy in Moongulo. Maybe I should just start with beginning instead. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. It's Moonglow. You win by default here. Hey, look. That's exactly what I want from this level. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's Moonglow. Well, I might as well go for the build I was trying in Capella Magna and failing with. None of you. Yes to you. Santa Javelin. And then, well, Tronus Box isn't here. So I need to actually grab stuff. Huh.
I mean, I didn't use Glass Fadango. I was trying well with a couple other weapons. It all failed. But this will allow me to grab what I need as quick as possible. On the other hand, it's Moon Glow. It's done as quick as possible. Also, I've spent too much time on failures. I've really messed up anything resembling an actual recording thing. Session? Session, yeah, that. And there's Tyrone's box on Moonglow. Something you don't really see every day. Cross their heart and hope to win. Wait, I should just stay still. Let it blast out like that. Yeah, that's much safer than trying to do anything. I grabbed the beginning, didn't I? Yes. Crab battle. Man, I wasn't expecting it to be crotchy that gave me trouble while Demario just chewed through Gallo Tower with no trouble. Trouble. Repeat the word till it loses all its meaning. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Trouble every day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that did nine damage. So, if I didn't have everything else boosting up. This would be a lot more problematic. Oh, maybe I should grab Cherry Bomb. That would have been excellent. Hey, Horologian Super Thing. Now, if I grabbed out of bounds, there would have been no trouble with this. Oh, go away, you. And Cross is maxed out, so that first treasure chest at 10 minutes in and a 15 minute stage will evolve you into the glorious Heaven Sword. Then you will join by the Seraphic Cry, except you won't, because there's only like one evolution chest on this level for some reason. It's mostly a gimmick for you to get a giant stack of eggs from the Golden Merchant. Where does he remove it? I don't know. I've never used him because I don't have anyone with enough eggs to actually spawn him in. When's he going to be a character, eh, Funkel? I really want the Drowner Staff to be a weapon. I don't know how it would work, but hey. It could be fun to play around with. Something that just raises the water level, or... Oh, have it go from above to counteract the Drowner. That way you can never hit him with it. Unless you go deep diving. Hey, a vacuum. Does that give me any level ups? It does. Gets me a good amount of level ups, in fact. There's only one Arcana chest on this map, too. I think. So this technically can't be rule of three, and I failed already. Man, I can't believe ghosts are getting one shot are actually hurting me. As without Silent Old Sanctuary, things aren't uh, the way they were before. You wouldn't even recognize it anymore. I mean, not that you knew what it was back then. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Guess what I'm watching as soon as I stop playing. kind of funny how bad it just looks these days, and yet back then it was so cool. And that's what time does. It destroys all your memories. Nothing is more beautiful than your imagination. Huh. Jubei? No. Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter. Wait, I need to restart that. What am I talking about again? 
something that's not vampire survivors. Hey, NFT. Burn. Wait, you aren't burning. Why aren't you burning? No, stop it, burn. No, I wasn't expecting that to happen. That was unexpected. Usually you'd be down by now. Or I could have just got an empty tome. I probably would have saved all my problems. But no, I wanted to get Tier Jisoo. Build into Crotchy's power. No. Wait, no. This isn't random event. This is Moon Glow being strange. Did this happen before? Did I always just chalk it up to a random event? Huh. suppose that's what Wave 1 could answer for me. No, now I'm glad I got more. I'm actually weak enough that these are hurting me. That's not the way I expect this to go. One of them is the Arcana spawner, too. If I lose on Moonglow, I'm going to be very annoyed. Why am I going down so easily? These things really do that much damage. Yes, yes they do. Holy crap. Snakes? Save me, snakes. Save me chicken. More chicken. Really helpful if all this high luck actually spawned in some usable items. Well, there's a chest that's not really helpful. Oh, right. Evolution. Twelve minutes in. It's a poor killing power. Oh no, I said killing. Now my video is going to get no views or algorithm. It's always wild just seeing the way my numbers shoot up. One video gets a couple hundred, the next one gets like 70, and the next one's 90, then it's down to 20, and it's like so weird. Is it algorithm nonsense? It's just, is it weekend nonsense? Did everyone just fall off it? Who knows? Leave a comment down below if you have an idea. Hey, look. Victory. Yeah, so I can't actually rule a three here because you don't get double arcana chest for whatever reason. And I bought it from Merchant? Man, I didn't even take down the Atlantean. This build had no damage. No right to win in any level that wasn't moving though. There we go. My crotchy's pain is at an end for now. Wait, what's this? Where did this piece of bone come from? Okay, surely the next character can't be as painful as crotchy. It's Christine. Oh, God. oh and it's Green Acres. Well, this one isn't going up. Uh, actually, I'd want Blood Astronomy in one and I. Uh, speed. I'm not getting speed. Amount and low luck. No. Clock Lancet, you will save me. Pentagram. Get it maxed out ASAP. I need to get as many levels up as I can, as fast as I can. And that means I have really poor pickups on my passives. So I don't have a choice otherwise. Well, crown, obviously. In fact, I shouldn't even be going for my other passives. I should be going for the rings. That would be more effective than anything. But no, that can be saved for Gallo and Giovanno, who didn't actually 
Well, Gallo didn't evolve his, and Diavano didn't need to. Neither of them needed to. Oh boy. And Bone Zone's gonna be so much worse. So, so much worse. Really would appreciate a pentagram level game. I mean, not the pentagram, the pentagram level. Also, you know, I could follow the clock lance it shot. Man, that's bad luck. Garlic? Garlic. In fact, I should have gotten garlic initially. Okay, yeah. Now I'm basically fine. Nothing can stop me now. Except terrible luck. Also, things now being darn well enough to get in. Ooh, even between my double auras. Well, I can pop a light source immediately, right? Right? Uh oh. Oh boy. Get more garlic. More garlic, more. I mean, the milk elementals go down pretty quickly still. Everything else, though, is taking multiple hits, and that's with other stuff doing it. Hey, more gems. Faster. I know eventually, and a good old empty tome. That'll fix it. That'll fix everything. Yeah, why would it not? Take out everything. I think it's wiped out everything every time. Really, this is the bad luck video, isn't it? Hey, finally, it did it. Well, I need to get Gorgeous Moon firing off as endlessly as possible. And everything else is just trying to keep her in the fight. That's going to wipe out everything, isn't it? Oh, it didn't. It. Unexpected. Now, the other option would have been to minimize everything. And just focus on limit break level ups with Gorgeous Moon. Like the other build I tried out. Which is very fun. I didn't use it as effectively as Dex did in his video. But... I did show off how powerful it could be even when underutilized. So go check out Dex's Christine Super Gorgeous Pentagram Moon video. There's some crazy shenanigans with that. Yep. Alright, good. Clock Lance is going to keep me nice and safe. Uh, everything else is also going to keep me nice and safe, and Gorgeous Moon is going to do damage. Because that garlic does make them weaker to freeze. And now it fires even faster. Are there early evolutions here? There are. And now you all die. Horribly. Oh no, demonetization. As we all know, adults don't use the word die. Well, actually, Clock Lancet's eventually gonna max out really fast if I ran him all way, so. Ha 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 ha! Sure, it could be faster, but for what it is, nice and safe. After Crotty's horrendous runs on Capella Magna, I appreciate nice and safe. So that is why I'm looking forward to getting, I mean, 15 minute. I mean, Gorgeous Moon should be enough to just get through. Yeah, 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 I should be safe enough. 
between the clock lancet, all this piling up, and gorgeous moon, should be no trouble at all. They get to 21 minutes for a wake. So I'll get Silent Old Sanctuary first, even though it really doesn't benefit that much. But it benefits more than not. Even if it's slow going and I just took damage. Do I want to just stay still instead? Be nice and safe that way? I still need to hit chest just on the case I can get a candy box. Soul Eater would still be better than garlic. Gotta go slow. On the other hand, I gotta go fast when the Atlantean comes up, so maybe it's not a good idea to go from. In fact, it's a downright terrible idea. Oh, there it is. Absolutely useless. Curse you sticky controls and overzealous button mashing. Well, oh, since I need to now be as safe as possible, I really should not be going after that Atlantean. Will I just stay here like a boring, boring, boring guy? Apparently, I could get out of bounds as well. I mean, I'll just save that for Galloway. Right? No, Gallo gets to go infinite corridor for once. First one was pacifism, the second was revenge. Just annihilate everything without a bounce on Old Sanctuary. Super strong combo, go check out that video if you haven't, because it was a lot of power being thrown around. Also, as it is, thanks for watching this far, and I thank everyone who has supported me. Silence in silence? Or in... Well, I suppose it's all silence, just... Whether you're doing it for recognition or not? No, that's silly. Wow, what, how am I supposed to phrase this? Thanks for supporting me. Even if you've not made a public notice of it. Yes, that's it. Views, likes, dislikes, subscriptions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No oh, man, they're getting in. I mean, they aren't going to do anything on account of what I've got set up, but still. It's far riskier than it should be. The tractor was ultimately pointless, but I just really didn't want to risk not getting the levels I needed. It's got anti-synergy. Well, not anti-synergy, but no synergy with the Gorgeous Moon itself, because Gorgeous Moon just sucks everything in like vacuum. In fact, the way it wipes it out means that there are problems with how Clock Lance it keeps me safe. I'm sure there's going to be some nightmare eventually. But will be witches? Probably not. They, well, somehow they were a problem on Inlay Library. I don't know why. It takes getting used to, because you never realize how much power comes out of just having all those passive slots, huh? Well, you do, but it's not till you feel their loss that you really feel it. Just three passives. That's not enough to get anything good. It's three things good. That's not anything good. Man, I was right not to go to the Atlantean. There's no way she would have survived that. Well, I don't even see the garlic screen anymore. 
it's been overtaken so much by the other stuff. I don't know. Clock Lancer gets the benefit of both duration and empty tome. It doesn't get speed, it doesn't increase its range from Candelabra to either. It does no base damage, so no spinach. And nothing else would affect it directly. Not even Gorgeous Moon can wipe out the Blood Skeletons in one hit. You know what? Santa Water and Labora absolutely should, because they're bleaching those bones, so they're no longer bloody skeletons. Ha ha! Oh, do each of the Gorgeous Moon little dealies pop out one of those... Uh... Blood Astronomia points? There's just more of them spawning in as it is. Well, this is an underwhelming wave. These lion head things are like 10 minutes on Lindlade Library. Kinda. Where are you at? There you are. If I had the revive. Oh, wait. Also, it's Christine. She has 70 by default with Empty Tome. So, Sun Old Sanctuary wouldn't really do that much. Still do more than bloody waltz of pearls, though. Lousy, sticky, whatever I can call it. Blurg. D-pad? No, not D-pad stick. I mean, yeah, I could have waited to hit A until I was in the right spot. But I like it when the controllers do the things they want them to do, instead of the things they feel like doing. Yes, my rants during the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth thing all did. Squad's terrible. Glide to Chocobo, terrible. No problem whatsoever with Gears and Gambits or Fort Condor, because those had rules. Every time I lost in the boxing minigame, that was my fault. I had got the wrong read. No, oh, it's all of them. Well, that makes sense. I hit it. I hate touch screens so much, don't you? None of those are right. Oh, what a silly world we live in. Man, their sheer numbers are still getting in, put, getting pushed in close by their bodies. Well, turns out winner beats plants. Whoever could have guessed that. It's kind of wild, and like the last cold snap. Heavy cold snap I in. There was a couple people who put all their bushes all bundled up in coverings. Uh, should say tarps. That would be the more picturesque description. It's just sort of wild. Back in the cold, cold lands I originally hail from. That's not something you really do. It is amusing watching tropical plants be next to, like, whatchamacallits. More wintry plants, yes. Arctic plants, yes. Arctic trees, yes. Arctic plants. I'm just going in a circle. Tropical trees next to Arctic trees. That's what I was getting at. And while the arctic trees are fine during the cold snap, tropical ones are all falling apart. Also, the regular trees are also falling apart. Including one that was actually two trees in one. I didn't really notice till one of them just sort of exploded. Just glad it wasn't on me this time. 
Oh. Oh, crap. I wasn't expecting that. Oh man, I'm so glad I grabbed Awake now. I gotta stay in the Frozens. Don't take your hands off the controller, kids. Well, actually, if you're a kid and you're watching this, you're probably using a touchpad anyway. Oh, we are the old men now. Oh, right. You're getting super frozen. You're not going to be able to do anything to me. Even if I stand on top of you. Oh, hey. Good. I can actually get this video out. Gorgeous Moon did a lot of gorgeous work. That's three more down in sloppy, sloppy fashion. And once again, the best book has shown us just how strange difficulty can be. As the Mario has no trouble, and Christine doesn't have any real trouble, but Crotchy does. That is not a sentence I expected to say. Anyway, it's 224 down. Thanks for watching. And the outro thumbnail now has all the begging and choosing for channel stuff from now on. Thanks for messing around.